Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on Groudon in the Cave of Woods, and we also got the HM07 Waterfall. We taught that to Metroid, and we also battled Groudon, and it only took like maybe. How many Ultra Balls did it take? At least I know it took, um. We only used Ultra Balls on it. We only. It only took 7 Ultra Balls to catch it, because I know we, we came into the battle with 20. And I was so upset that, like, I didn't do a save state before the uh, battle, but we ended up catching it on our first take, which is pretty cool. I'll take it. Now we can take on, uh, the. Uh, the gym leader Wallace at the top of his gym. The, the, the Pokemon, the people in here use this uh, white type Pokemon. So yeah, we have Geico up front and then Twitch because they have Twitch has Shockwave, which is perfect against white type Pokemon. And then Geico has a lot of grass type moves like Giga Drain, Sword Beam, and uh, Leaf Blade too. And he also has Pursuit, I guess, on it. So yeah. And yeah, Geico is the only Pokemon who hasn't reached its final uh, move set because I'm actually going to teach a Dragon Claw eventually, hopefully in this part actually. Because once we get the Rain Badge from Wasp, whatever it's called, we get to use the HM07 Waterfall outside of battle. We can go back to we can go back to uh, Meteor Falls, and then we can also go back to Mount Pyre to turn the Red Orb, and Maxi will be there to turn the Boot Orb. We also got the TM for TM31 Brick Break for uh, Fighter, and we taught that to our Fighter Hariyama. Nice. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Steven? Stuffless Jim Wade Wallace is the master of our type Pokemon. And to get this Wallace has an Icy 4 with hampers. Well, and to get to Wallace, an Icy 4 will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's all I can advise I can have for you. The rest is the way, the rest of the way you have to go for it yourself. Okay. So, yeah, grass and electric type Pokemon are super fucking, super effective against water type Pokemon. So that's, yeah, that's good to know at least. Stuffless City Pokemon Gym. Now this is uh, this is why it just leads to the basement if you fall through the floor. You can't even climb up the uh, ice, so you have to actually, depending on which one you may fall in. But I'm going to try to do this puzzle, showing you guys how to not to battle any trainers. So if I remember this puzzle correctly, that's good then. So this is this first puzzle, that's really easy, just that. Do the path I'm taking. And for the second puzzle, it's also easy, as long as you don't misclick or something. Be really careful. If you're playing this like on a tablet or something like an emulator, where it's not controller, so then be careful not like to, miss, to misstep and stuff. So I honestly, ah, I think I remember how to do this one. Um, I think I'm doing it. I think I may have messed it up too. I don't know. Shoot. I think I already messed. Yeah, I messed it up. Shoot. Ah oh, man, I I honestly don't remember the last part. Last well, of course, it always gets to me. But yeah, I'm missing one. Yeah. Yeah, somehow I'm, I missed a misclick. Yeah. Dang it, that stinks. I didn't show how to get to Okay, whatever. You have to beat all three of the puzzles to like, not battle any trainers. But I'm going to battle the trainers just for experience. So let's start with this uh, trainer right here. Train my Pokemon together with walls. Don't think I'm a pushover. Okay, I won't. I just want to battle, man. I just want to battle. Here's another beauty, I guess. Yeah, okay, cool. Beauty, Olivia. She's a Dot Lombre, which is water and grass type, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Let's go for the Leaf Blade on this thing. This one base level 41. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, quit, quit. Nice. We defeated uh, Breedy Oliver. Awesome. You, where was Bold right over? Sorry. Thanks for 3,280 Pokemon dollars, I think is what you gave me. Here's the last. Cool. You came all this way here, but you won't get to see Wallace. Not, not, not if I, if you lose to me, you won't. Well, I'm probably not gonna lose to you. I'm hoping I won't lose to you, because as I said, several to several trainers in this project, in this playthrough, that if I lose, I have to go to the last Pokemon Center I was at, and I lose, I, I, I have to give you money for winning, and I don't want to do that, honestly. This one is level 40. It should be a well award, but whatever. Let's go for a leaf blade on this thing. There we go. Awesome. So let's see if this one I kills it. This one is female also, by the way, if I didn't already mention that. One I kill, awesome. Oh, last Christie is about to send out another Walmart. Uh, another Walmart. <laughs> another Walmart, sorry. This one's also level 4. Let's see another Leaf Blade. Nice, okay. Let's see how much this does. Um, it knocks it out, awesome. Wow, you get decent experience for you know tra battling all these trainers. So you're strong. You, f I was fooled by your Q looks. Thanks. So here is another beauty. I don't know why beauties have like blonde hair in the uh, battle sprite, but on the field sprite they have green hair. Jeez, a graceful glide across the ice while crossing no lines. A trainer putting on that beautiful on that performance would be an elegant would be elegantly beautiful. 
That's cool. Where to go, man? Where to go? Where to go, lady? <laughs> You're not a man, you old man. <laughs> Beauty for Tiffany sent out Carvana. Okay. To switch it up, we'll use Giga Drain. So let's use Giga Drain on this thing. It's level 39 and female. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay. It's going to want to KO it. Awesome. Nice. And Rough Skin does not affect uh, Geico this time because it's not a physical move. Giga Drain is not a physical move. Yeah. Geico, good level 41. 44. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Let's switch to um. Let's switch to Twitch, I guess. The bottom of my foot itches. Jeez. Okay, so this one was level thirty nine and female. So yeah, I just I just scratched my foot there. Okay, let's see how much the shockwave does. So let's see. This, yeah, if I didn't mention, but I probably think I just mentioned this, but when was level thirty nine and female? So yeah, it says a little bit of half points in the deep red, uh, deep yellow, I should say. The is gonna be super effective, but still doesn't do too much damage. So that's good. Let's go for the pursuit. I mean, side beam, not the pursuit. Jeez, and it just knocks it out. Awesome. Nice. So about to sharpedo. Okay. Uh, the Sharpedo probably knows Crunch, but that's okay. It's a challenge, I guess. The Sharpedo is level 39. Uh, I can't use Psychic or Psybeam because, you know, Dark type Pokemon are immune to Psychic type Pokemon moves. So let's use Shockwave, I guess it's our best bet. I can still use Shadow Ball though, if I wanted to. Yeah, so the Shockwave hits in this situation, awesome. And one Ikea is it awesome. Nice, I'll take it. Nice, okay. We defeated P BD Tiffany. Well, excuse me. Thanks for 3,120 experience, uh, Poke Dollars. I'm gonna switch my Pokemon to, uh, Twitch now. Nice. So here's a, uh, Poke fan, I believe. When I'm with my Pokemon, the time flies by before you can s before the, fi the time flies before, uh, the, the time flies by before you can say oops. I guess that's true. Uh, man, that makes sense. So here's Poke fan. Mar Marissa, okay. So you have uh, a Zeril, level 36 female, cool. Let's go for the shockwave on this thing. Put into one heat KO this, would that be nice if we could? Yeah. So let's see, this is gonna be super effective. I wanna put in, put in about a little bit over half HP, geez. Okay, I'll use another. You have a Citrus Fairy, don't you? At this point in the game, you probably have a Citrus Fairy. Nope, you have one bait, that's good. Let's use another shockwave then. This should knock it out. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay, Pokefan, Melissa is, Marissa is about to send a mail. Yeah, I guess we can try Psychic on this thing. Cause it, I don't know, we can just try it. Let's see how much the Psychic does. This male's level 38 in female, so it's pretty cool. Oh, it almost, it almost takes it out. Let's finish it with a Shadow Ball though. It's gonna use an Orange Berry, I guess, or Citrus Berry. Um, it's an Orange Berry, okay. That's, that's better than a Citrus Berry in our case. So yeah, Shadow Ball hits, awesome. Nice, okay. The mail goes down. Now it switches level 44, awesome. Okay, Azumarill. Let's switch to, uh, I guess Screamo. Screamo can have some screen time, I guess. Screamo, we. Heh. <laughs> this is, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Marissa's last Pokemon. So she, okay, let's try stealing on this thing, see what she does. Azumarill, this Azumarill is level 40. Oh, not very effective. Jeez. Okay, whatever. Let's go for the air cutter. Let's go for the air ice next, I guess. Let's use Bubble Me on Screamo. That's cool for her, I guess. Let's go for air ice. There we go. Nice. Two more AOE should, should faint this. Let's get, oh, it's, well, it's gonna be neutrally effective because it's because Screamo is half flying, half steel type. Then she needs an orange berry, of course. Yeah, okay. Okay, two more AOE should, should still faint this thing. Yeah. So he's roll it again. It's gonna do double the power though. Yeah, okay, but yeah, Screamo is taking it like a boss. There we go. Awesome. We defeated Poke Fan Marissa, and she says, "Oops." Thanks for 6400 pocket hours. We we'll appreciate it. Let's switch to um, Screamo, I guess, to the front. So, yeah. Nice, okay. The Pokemon Gym. Uh, this The Pokemon Gym of the highest level of the Hoenn region. That is the toughest, super toughest gym. Of course, I know that because that's the last gym of Hoenn that challenges you have to get the 8th gym badge from. The 8th and final gym badge. 
of Hoenn. Yeah, I know that. I'm not stupid. I didn't read your name, but I know you're a beauty uh, trainer. So yeah, let's uh, go for Aerialist, I guess. It's Aerialist Emeralds, level 41. Yeah, double edge. That's not going to do too much because screw going resist normal type attacks, but yeah. And then you have some recoil damage. Nice. Another AoE should hit. Awesome. In this situation, yeah. It's going to use Roll Okay. Okay, let's try to knock this thing out quick. So, I wouldn't be surprised if this Azumo has a uh, one berry, but it doesn't matter because that critical hit awesome. Nice. I knew that critical hit. We defeated Beauty Bridget. She says, what a high level you are. Thanks for 6,560 pocket hours, man. A young lady or young woman. I don't know. Woman, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm sorry. Okay, I, don't, I actually don't want to switch to Scream. I switch out Scream. I want to keep Scream right front, actually. I say, the sight of Wallace is conducting a battle. It's very, it's the very beauty of compelling me to become a trainer. I think I misread your dialogue, honestly. I feel like I did. Here is, um, Lady Brianna. She has a Seeking. Nice. It's level 41 and female. So let's use an Aerius on this thing. I tell Scream to use Aerius on the Seeking. Yeah, there is about a third of each, it's max HP. Yeah, Seeking is actually the only Pokemon I know that can learn Waterfall by leveling up. That's pretty interesting. Okay, yeah. Fury attack's not gonna do much, but yeah, Scream's down to 40 HP, geez. Let's go for another early ace. I'm hoping this will faint it. It does, awesome. Nice. We defeated a uh, Lady Brianna, cool. You battled with more beauty than I could master. I could muster. Sorry, you'll get better as you go along. Oh, since uh, Screamo has been appearing in the last like, three Pokemon battles, uh, the prize money has doubled to so sixteen thousand four hundred Pokemon dollars. Wow, it's a lot of money. So yeah, I should teach you how harsh battles can be. How about I teach you how harsh battles can be? This is another beauty. Her name is uh, Connie. Beauty Connie. She's about to. She's turned out goldy and cool. Let's go for the arrow ace on this thing. There's about half, that's awesome. There's 4 HP on, the horn attack does 4 HP on Screamer said. Screamer's taken like a boss, still awesome. Nice. There we go, Screamer goes up 4 3 awesome. Okay, one more is next, okay, she's gonna send out one more. Um, let's send out Fighter, I guess. Nice, okay. So this Wormer is level 40 and female, nice. There we go, let's do that. Um, let's try a new move, uh, Brick Brick. Yeah, let's see how this does. Does a little bit of half, oh, it does almost completely, it almost knocks it out, cheese. Let's finish it with, um, a facade. Use Water Pulse on a fighter, okay, cool. There we go, nice. Okay, we defeated Beauty Connie. Awesome. Oh, yeah, oh, you're strong. Thanks. Thanks for the 6400 Pocket Dollars. There's one last trainer. I'm gonna do the old switch your trick because I'm gonna switch out Screamer and go to Fighter for this battle. I'll show you this, uh, the sublime techniques I learned from our way to Wallace. Okay. Well, let me see him. I'd probably, you'll probably get through all of them because I'll probably get through your team really fast, especially if, won't, if you have one Pokemon that's a level disc. Okay, I probably want to switch out now because I know this love disc probably doesn't, probably won't do much for, probably won't do much to Screamo, but you never know, I could be totally wrong. This love disc is level 41 in female, so it's pretty cool, it's gonna use Flail. Okay. Just one HP, okay, nice. Again, I think you can even try to steal its hard skill if it's holding hard skill. So maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Yeah. We defeated the last, uh, Andrea, nice. Please forgive me, Wallace. Uh, yeah. It's okay, you'll get better. Don't worry, don't sweat it. Next fifth, 1,312 Poké Dollars, though. And now we brought all the trainers in the gym. Now I have to sh figure out the puzzle, jeez. So let me go heal. Okay, I'm back. And let's put Geico up. No, I didn't mean to, I meant to go to Switch, jeez. Okay, Geico up front, and then Twitch. Then Skarmory, I guess. And then Metroid, then Spider, then... Smoky, I guess, I guess Fighter and Metroid can switch places actually, yeah. So yeah, let me see if I can do the puzzle now. Hopefully, I, it's through trial and error I'll get this. I know the first two by heart, but um, the last one is the one that always gives me trouble. Okay, so I think we actually go this way. 
No, I think I messed it up. I think I was just supposed to go up and down and around. Oh, uh, I don't, I, I still don't know. Jeez, I might have to even look it up. I don't really want to look it up unless I totally am stuck on that. Jeez. I have to do these puzzles again. Shoot. Ah, oh, man, I remember when I was recording this gym for the original, for my original Pokemon Ruby Walk the Guide, I was sick and I was like, oh, I just got over being sick and I was like, I'm, th I'm glad that, um, I'm not sneezing, sneezing and coughing anymore and stuff like that. Did I mess it up? Shoot. Honestly, if I get it wrong again, I'm probably just gonna look it up because I honestly don't remember the third sec, the third phase of this puzzle. I apologize that I don't remember it, but like, I haven't played this game in such a long time. I haven't played third generation in a long time, actually, in general. So let's see if I can get it this time. Three times the charm, right? Let's see. I have to think about this. Let me see. Let me think for a second. I think I know how to solve it, yeah. I think I can do this. Yeah, I think I got it, yeah. I don't have to look it up, hopefully. <laughs> I'm hoping not. Gotta be really careful, though. Just take the route I'm taking and you'll make it. Yeah, there we go. I did it. Awesome. Nice. Let's talk to Wallace from the side. I have a guy cut from, by the way, so let's talk to him. Uh, here's Wallace. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of Stopolis. There's something about you, a difference in your demeanor. I think I can sense that in you. What happened inside the Cave of Origin and what you did, I will likely learn from our upcoming battle. Now show me, show me the power you wield with your Pokemon, and I in return shall present with you, uh, you with my, with a performance of illusions in water by me and my Pokemon. Interesting, I like his dialogue. So here's Wallace, the final gym leader of Hoenn. He's the master of all type of apparently according to the advice giver. Here's leader Wallace, he likes to he wants to battle. He starts off with a solve disc that's level 40. Now this thing probably has cute charm or it has attract. I'm pretty sure it has attract. It might not have cute charm as its ability, but let's go for the leaf weight on this thing. It's level 40 female. Before that was higher than it, so we're in good shape I guess for right now, but we'll see about that later. Cause some of his Pokemon are tough. So there goes the love disc, awesome. Nice. It's about to use Celio. Let's um stay in, I guess. Let's actually go for an epic subtitle sweep. That'd be cool. Let's go for another um leaf blade on this thing. Celio is level 40 in male. So yeah, it's water ice type, I believe. It's the pre it's the level from a Celio, but the pre level from a Walwin. Yeah. It's like the middle evolution of the uh Celio family. So yeah. So there we go, one hit KO on both all the two opening Pokemon out. Okay, his, his big guns is coming out. He has five Pokemon, he has three left, including this one. This, uh, mile tick is really tough. Honestly. Let's go for the Leaf Blade. And see how much it does. It's level 43 male. And it's one level higher than it. But still, it's like a powerhouse. Ooh, wait, only two. Only two, um, Leaf Blades should take it out. That's awesome. Nice. What the heck? That did it. No! It froze Gecko. I'm gonna definitely use the full store now. Jeez. Jeez, I was, I was, I knew that I used to be my chance to freeze, but like it caught me off guard, really. That actually froze Geico. Anyway, I can choose the full story. Can use the ice beam again, jeez. Hopefully, Geico is faster than the next turn. But we're in trouble, cause it'll, uh, it'll, uh, yeah, good. Cause, um, it, ice beam would have fainted Gecko then. So our epic Sceptile Sweep is still intact. We defeated his hardest Pokemon, so that's good. Nice. Okay, which cast is gonna be really easy because it's water ground type, so that means it's four times weak to four times weak to grass type moves. So that means so like for example, um Giga Drain will be four times super effective. So that's what I'm gonna use and restore some of Gecko's HP actually too. Cause uh water is weak to, against grass type moves and then water type Pokemon and then also uh ground type moves uh, ground type Pokemon are weak to ground type uh, grass type Pokemon. There we go. The wish cast goes down. So the only Pokemon in his party that's really giving me trouble so far is Milotic. But yeah, he's, he's, done last, he's done to his last Pokemon just as Seeking, so 4 2 in male. Uh, yeah, so let's go for the Leaf Blade on this thing. I'm not speeding all of his Pokemon, which is actually pretty nice. We're 2 levels higher than Seeking, or Skyco is 2 levels higher than Seeking. We went for an epic Sceptile Sweep. Awesome, nice. Cool. 
Gecko, grade level 45, awesome. We defeated Wallace. That wasn't actually that hard of a battle, to be honest. Bravo. I realize now your ethnicity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find it much joy in having met you and your Pokemon. Thanks, Wallace. Vice versa, you too. Ditto. <laughs> you have proven yourself worthy of the Rain Badge. Accept it. I was right, the Rain Badge. Nice. We got 43,000... 4,300 Pokemon. We got 4,300 Poké Dollars. There we go for winning. Awesome. Nice. We get the Rain Badge from Wallace. We received the Rain Badge from Wallace. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Having that badge assures you the full abundance. Abundance, or I don't even know how to pronounce that word. There's so many words in this game I can't pronounce still. It's kind of sad. Of all your Pokemon to every command you like. So yeah, obedience. Obedience, there we go. Uh, it's like obedience. <laughs> okay. The badge will allow you to use the HM move waterfall to scale walls and of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we shared. Take this. We get TM03, which is water pulse, I believe. Yeah. Which is actually not... It's like a mediocre water type move. It only has like 60 power. Like, you should have given us like hydro pump or something, you know? But whatever. The t that team I handed you contains water pulse. It, in use, it will occasionally conf confuse the target with its ultrasonic waves. Interesting. So to get out of this gym or to get to the very front, you just have to basically fall through that patch of broken ice. And then you have to slide down here. And after you beat the gym leader for any gym, all you can't battle any of the trainers. At least the ones you've didn't battle, so like you don't have to worry about having to battle any of the trainers because they'll be already defeated, I guess, after you beat the gym body anyway, for sure. So let's talk to the vice giver. Yow, you beat an even Wallace, who is supposedly the best of all Hoenn. Uh, okay, check out your trainer card. If you've gotten all the badges, you're set for the Pokemon League challenge. Awesome. So let's check the statue first. So, uh, read the statue. So you top four city Pokemon gym. Wallace is certified trainer, Steven. Awesome. So yeah, if you got our, if you got our trainer card, we have all the badges now, which is pretty cool. So that's awesome. So yeah, let's uh, fly back to uh, I guess Fall Arbor Town, because that's where Media Falls is. I think that's the closest city or town closest to Media Falls. So yeah, let's do that. Is there anything I have to put in my PC? Because I want to heal my Pokemon, but I, I don't know if I have to put anything in my PC. Let me just check. So yeah, I won't be teaching a uh, Team O Zero Three to anyone Water Pulse to any of my Pokemon. Because I'm actually going for the last move I went for my final move set for my final Pokemon that has me just final move set. That was a lot of finals in there. So no items to put in the PC, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon up. Okay, with that done, I'm gonna re-injure my Pokemon actually. So sub Subtile Geico will be at the very bottom. I think all I have to do is switch uh Smokey with uh Geico and then Twitch with um Metroid, I guess. Yeah. Cool. So awesome. We're going to back to go to Meteor Falls, so let me do this real quick, I'll actually show it. I don't have to cut to it, because I'll just show you how to get back to Meteor Falls if you forgot, maybe, I don't know. So yeah, let's use a Repel though. Nice, okay. Okay, we can actually hop on our bike to go a bit faster, but then again we don't have it on register actually. We still have the Super Auto register for all the off-screen training. Wow, okay. Key items, there we go, just passed it, cool. So mock bike, register. Let's go, let's go faster on it. Yeah, let's, let's bike on the mountains. <laughs> the mock bike is a mountain bike, guys. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we remember this place. We've, we battled all these trainers here. Now, I believe the way you can surf is, um, you have to go down to this level, I think. Go down here. Can you surf from here? You can, actually. Cool. Let's use Metroid and you surf. And then let's use Metroid and tell it to use Waterfall for us, please. Thank you very much. We climb up the waterfall. Nice. So anything? Okay, we gotta get to go through here, I guess, first. It's like a little puzzle, I guess. Um, go through here, I guess. What is this? Let's go down the ladder. Go up here, I guess. Go up the ladder. And here is TM23. Is that Dragon Claw? I don't think it is. Let me just double check. TM23 Iron Tail. Cool. I won't be teaching Iron Tail on my Pokemon. I kind of don't recommend that move because Iron Tail is such horrible accuracy. If you want to teach a Steel type Pokemon, if you want to teach a move uh, that's Steel type to a Pokemon, I'd recommend Stealing because that's what I have on my Skarmory. Oh, he's a double battle. I have Torque off in my first slot, but I do have him in my second slot of Tentacool. Okay, cool. Let's take on this uh, 
couple, I guess. We will always battle Pokemon together as a twosome. Who uh, can? Who can? Who can? Who, we've comp. We've we've com we have confidence. There we go. We've is a contraction for we have. There we go. We have confidence in ourselves. That's cool. So here is old couple John and Jay. <laughs> John Jay of the St. Louis Cardinals, even though that John spells his name J O N and the M the MLB player spells the name J O N. John said J O J O H N. I don't know. So the Medicham and Talium are both level 40. So let's go for the um, Flamethrower on Medicham and the Surf on both of them. In third generation, Surf doesn't hit your opponent, your teammate in jumble battles, which that was pretty cool. But no, like I think starting in first, fourth generation, that um, changes with uh, like I remember like I was in Iron Islands with Riley who had a Lucario, and I used Surf. My Pokemon used Surf. I think it was my Empoleon who's just Surf at the time, and my Pokemon Platinum walked through, and uh, it hit the Lucario too. But in third generation, it only hits the two opponents. It doesn't hit your teammate. So yeah. So let's go for the flamethrower on Hariyama and the surf on both of them. Because the high the Medicham is almost completely done. The Medicham is level 40 male and the Hariyama is also level 40 male. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, critical also, I'm gonna take it. So yeah. And then uh, Hariyama is Hariyama is gonna use Rock Tube on Matured, okay, that's actually better than using it on Smokey because it would have been super effective then. So yeah, Smokey is using flamethrower right now, awesome. It should knock it out, but we'll see. For sure, it does. Awesome. Nice. Okay, we defeated old couple John and Jay, John and Jay of the St. Louis Cardinals, Chicago Cubs, and uh, the um, San Diego Padres because he played for those two teams in the MLB so far. He's he's currently still a free agent. I think I'm I'm recording this on February nineteenth, two thousand eighteen. So maybe as of recording this video, or maybe before or after. So I after so before he did get signed with the wife. He did get signed with the contract. I mean not with the wife. Jeez, okay. He might be married though. I skipped through their dog, but sorry. Thanks for the two hundred poker dollars, guys. Okay, pose effect off. Fine. Let's put another pill on then. We're twenty seven after this. Cool. Here's a, um, I guess this is a Dragon Master. Um, don't think this is a cool train. I think this is a Dragon Master. This is what we Dragon uses do our, this is what we Dragon uses do our training. The champion even visits. Now, do you see how special it is here? Yeah, just, um, yeah, I'm gonna take on the champion soon. So here's Dragon Tamer Nicholas. Let's go for the fire flamethrower, I guess. It's not gonna be very effective though, but still. I guess we could have gone for the body swim, but you'll have been you learn, I guess. The solitary is level 38 in male, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Let's go for the body swim. Let's get a safeguard so it can't get port burned, I guess, from like flamethrower, fire blaster, overheat then. But that's okay. This thing takes it out. Critical awesome. Good job, Smokey. Dragon Trainer says, uh, another Altaria. Okay, fine. She's in the, let's just use another um, Body Slam. This Altaria is also level 38 and male. Good thing that attack missed. Nice. Take down, okay. You gotta get hit by recoil damage too, though. Body Slam hits again. Awesome. Let's go for the Flamethrower. Hopefully it knocks it out, but you never know. Recoil damage again. Yeah, there we go. Maybe the flamethrower will knock it out. I don't know. I have to wait and see, I guess. Oh, come on. Mr. Waff. Okay, fine. Let's use another flamethrower then. It's gonna, it's gonna use mist again. Of course it is. Well, this flamethrower should knock it out though, so that's good. And it does. Oh wait, and it does. There we go. I was like predicting that it would still. Awesome. Nice Dragon Tamer, we defeat Dragon Tamer Nicholas. Ugh, I, ugh, I didn't expect you to be so strong. Well, I just beat the Ace Gym badge, so whatever. <laughs> Thanks for 1,800 for 24 Poker Dollars, man. So I think we go down here, depends on what route we take. Um, we're gonna take this route, I guess, to the left. And here's a, yeah, here's a place. I think this is where we get um, Dragon Claw soon, the team for Dragon Claw. We we'll just have to surf here. Okay, yeah, right in here. I'm, I'm like 90% sure this is where we get team, the team for Dragon Claw. Nice. Team 02. CO2, which is Dragon Claw. 
Awesome. So let's check it out. Cool dragon claw, yes, awesome. We're gonna give that to we're gonna teach that to Geico. Because the Geico's the only one who can win actually too. Cool. Yeah. How about, okay, uh, uh, Geico wants to win Dragon Call. However, Geico already knows four moves. Should a move deleted and replaced with Dragon Call? Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Let's get rid of Pursuit, honestly. We don't need Pursuit anymore. One, two, and poof. Dragon, uh, Geico forgot how to use Pursuit and Geico and Dragon Call. So all my Pokemon are their final movesets now. That's awesome. So yeah, let's uh, surf back, I guess. Okay, so we're done with that now. Our post still is on, so that's good in effect, I should say. Same thing over here. There's a sentence or the. No, okay, cool. I was like, did I make the same mistake like in the Mega Carbon where I went out the uh, cool cabin looking place and I just sent it back? Okay, that's like our sixth PP up of the game, if I were to guess. So we'll put that PC and save it for later. And actually, later is coming up soon, actually, if you know what I mean, because the Pokemon League is coming up. And uh, that's po uh, before we enter the Pokemon League, really, we we'll go challenge the Pokemon League, like right before we enter the doorways to it. Um, I'm going to use all, like, all my um, PP ups and moves. Like, you know, I know Smokey has Fire, Bla Fire Blast has 5 HP. And then, uh, um, I think uh, Overheat has 5 HP as well. Or not HP, but PP. So we have to go over here to, and go back around, I think. So let's climb up the ladder again. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. No, that's the wrong way, actually. Never mind. I'm kind of lost. And when I'm not really lost, I kind of have a sense of where I'm going. My repel, of course it did. So let's do another repel. We have another 26 repels after this. Max repels. So that's cool. Go up the ladder. And let's fall to the right, actually. See what's on the right side. You have to be careful here, just don't overrun it. Oh, that's just the... Uh, it leads to the, this, okay. Uh, we'll use another escape rope, I guess, because I'm two ways to the exit. So yeah, I think we're done here in Meteor Falls. So yeah. Let me check my Pokemon real quick. Uh, 42, okay, cool. And then Pokenav, not Pokenav, but um, Bag, I mean. I think I'm going to check, I know I have to put the PP in the PC, that's all, PP up in the PC, that's all I have to do. So let's go fly to, uh, let's go to Lily Cove City, because that's where the closest way to get to Mount Pyre, which is where we want to go to return the Red Orb. And Max will be there to the Blue Orb, and then if you're playing Sapphire version, uh, uh, Max, uh, Archie will turn the Red Orb and you'll turn the Blue Orb. And then if you're playing Emerald, I think Maxi and Archie will both go there and will turn the Red and Blue Orb that they took. So yeah. I'm gonna heal up real quick and put the PP up in my PC, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so now I'll show this too to get to Mount Pyre if you forgot or if you don't know how to get to Mount Pyre from here. Just to show it again, I guess. It's better, it's better be safe than sorry. So here's another, let's use another Max Repel. Oh wait, the one from, that's, one still lingers, I should say. One still in effect. Nice. I'm at 30, 31 minutes of recording time, so I'm gonna make this quick, hopefully. So yeah. I don't, I think we're gonna repel all the, uh, all the, um, tentacle and possibly tentacle as well, because Smokey is level 20, not 20, but, uh, 42, and, uh, it repels Pokemon from, that are level 41 and below, so I don't think there's any tentacles or tentacles at level 41, so that's awesome. So yeah. Let's make our way back outside where we, um, saw Team Magma and stuff. Oh no! That caught me, that caught me off guard because, uh, my pearl just wore off and I was keep, I kept on walking for a second. Yeah, geez, that was a dust skull. We fainted though. He's there. Uh, Smokey fainted with a one flamethrower. It was like level 26, so it wasn't that hard, honestly. It was like a piece of cake, really. Just to make our way back up to the top of Mount Pyro. Soon we'll get the whole fog and steam or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, right here. Nice. Okay. You, you stopped Groudon. I should I shouldn't be surprised. I understand now that humans cannot freely control the balance between the land and the sea. That's interesting. Tell that to Archie too. Well Archie and Pokemon Sapphire would be say the same thing really. Okay, so I have return can we return the blue orb? I doubt that we will cross paths again. Farewell. And actually we don't, I don't think. Pretty sure we don't. In this game at least. So yeah, Vampire is what we call it okay. yeah, okay. Yeah, let's talk to you I'm gonna talk to your wife. Because you already told me the tale, so I'm gonna talk to your wife and get the blue orb, give her the blue orb back. 
Uh, that man, he has returned the blue orb. Are you going to turn the red orb to its rightful place too? No! What's that? It's if the balance is now restored, there is not no telling what could happen. You will return the orbs to its rightful place. Yes? No. What's I'm I'm saying no. I'm saying I'm I'm being the bad guy. I'm I'm now the bad guy, guys. And yeah, she basically keep you in this dialogue walk. So you won't, she won't let you go until you say yes. So fine, we'll say yes. We handed over the red orb after refusing like three or four times. Okay, cool. That's what it should said. Stephen Stephen handed over the red orb after refusing three to four, saying no four times, refusing to return it four times. <laughs> Stephen said fine. Stephen finally said yes return, to returning the red orb after you know, after um, refusing four times. There we go. I can't believe I lost my train of thought there. Yes, the two orbs should remain here. It's how it should be for all for the good of all Hoenn. It's not like, well, I, I own Kyo, I own Groudon right now, so I control him basically. I'm his master. So, uh, can we just fly here? I don't think we can. Oh, we can, awesome. But, uh, I, Kyogre's still out there somewhere in Pokemon Ruby, but you can't just ca you can't catch Kyogre. <laughs> Interesting. So, let's fly back to Moss Deep City, and we're gonna head over to, um, Evergrande City in the next part. So that sounds interesting, right? I hope so. So, yes, yeah, Sk Skarmory's getting his fly. Uh, do we have to put in the PC anything in the PC? I don't think we do. But let me check real quick. Nope, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. Um, do I need any? I think all we need, all you need is really to get to Evergrande City, which is the city before Victory Road, is a uh, Surf and Waterfall, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, so I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. So let me do that real quick. And with that, we can head off to uh, Evergrande City. So yeah, I'm gonna start. I could go in there, I guess. Just siphon on my Pokemon at least. I'm, I'm, I'm almost at 38 minutes in recording time, jeez. So yeah, so the next part will take on the water routes here and also go to Evergrande City. By the way, I'll show it to you. So we want to go through the routes like 127, 128, and then Evergrande City is right over here. And then the Pokemon League is right there actually, where the cursor is. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we have to also go through Victory Road the first two after that, in between Evergrande City, getting to Evergrande City, and getting to the Pokemon League. So yeah, so this is me trying to go again. I would like to leave you goodbye and see you guys next part of my Pokemon movie, Redo Walkthrough Guide. <laughs>